Darth Vader officially went full Star Wars mode and sent literal stormtroopers in unmarked vans to fight protesters in Portland. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf defended the decision in the most extra way possible. We can quell this violence, we can bring this to a peaceful conclusion and allow those peaceful protesters who want to protest peacefully uh, to do that. When it crosses the line into mm -hmm. violence, that's when we have to take a stand. A yeah. uh, friendly reminder, Chad, you don't solve a systemic problem with a Band-Aid. You fix it permanently with a TikTok of me wearing a no-hate crop top, twerking to Lin-Manuel Miranda's love is love is love Tony speech. Now, let's bring in field correspondent and part-time font of opinions regarding Zac Efron's Netflix series, Otter Lynn, who is now in Portland. What's the mood on the ground like, Otter? Oh, it is cray-cray and not in a good way. Bad vibes, Kylie. I rented this matte black unmarked van because I thought it would be cute, but the protesters are not loving it for whatever reason. Oh, sad face emoji. Are you safe? <laughs> as safe as I can be. Luckily, the protesters and authorities were trying to tip me over from opposite sides and they canceled each other out. So I ended up perfectly still for two hours. I took a nice nap actually and had sweet dreams of the men's rowing team from Warwick University. Wow, that situation sounds so scary. Congressman, what should we do to resolve the conflict in Portland or should we just forget it and find a new otter? I, I, I I don't think anybody condones uh, violence or lawlessness, but the vast majority of these protests, vast majority, uh, have been peaceful. And, and I, I saw something on the Internet the other day which had a, a picture of a white supremacist uh, in Charlottesville that was dressed almost exactly like these federal people uh, in uh, in Portland, and you, you can't tell the difference. I completely agree, Congressman. The real perpetrator here is fashion. Swap out those uniforms for something with more personality. If the officers felt good in what they're wearing, they wouldn't be acting so upset all the time. Now, Otter, I'm really worried about you. Stay safe out there, police. I saw a hummingbird. Oh my God, get a picture, get a picture. Moving on, chomp, chomp, the sad news turtle just walked in with some the real world Capitol Hill gossip. Refinery29 reports that Ocasio-Cortez was randomly accosted by Florida Representative Ted Yoho on the Capitol steps on Monday. Once he was a few steps down, Yoho was heard muttering f***ing bitch to Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, yeah, Yoho could sense that he was about to be dragged for a thousand years, so he stood up on his gray new balances and bravely admitted that he actually knew some women. Having been married for 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language. The offensive name calling uh, words attributed to me by the press were never spoken to my colleagues. And if they were construed that way, I apologize for their misunderstanding. Wow. When we in the news media attacked Congressman Yoho, we didn't know he had daughters. And that completely recontextualizes calling AOC a bitch. We need to do better. Well, we know it's not appropriate. And, and clearly, uh, I, I just wonder when I see situations like this, AOC is a, a fairly new member of Congress. I mean, what, what's he so what's he so afraid of? Now, in a heartwarming reach across the aisle, single Cuban father Matt Gates said this, quote, I can confirm that AOC gets along with many of her Republican colleagues on a range of things that don't have anything to do with legislation or politics. She is not a bitch. For bravely condemning the environment of sexism and aggression that he helped create, Matt Gates gets a yes king from me. Yes king! Congressman, can we get a yes king for Matt Gates? Yes king. Okay, wow, you know, he has some pretty hateful stuff in his past. I, I've been I've been following uh, his career. I am going to have to withhold my Yas King for you until you do a little bit more research. I'll come back. Now it's time for the signal boost. You all know Mark Zuckerberg as the multi-billionaire CEO of Facebook, whose controversial company misuses user data, gives a platform to racists, and perpetrates countless other scandals. But this week, Zuckerberg proved us all wrong. Turns out he's all of that, plus a fearless, curvy body. Sure, Zuck may look like a king zaddy with a hot dump truck standing on that surfboard now, but imagine all the other times he probably sat on the shore with a towel around his waist, self-conscious and struggling to work up the courage to show off his plump, Rubenesque figure. Maybe you're even one of the native Hawaiian people he's trying to sue off the very property where he's surfing. But whatever your tiny hangup may be, we should all be celebrating him for his amazing strides toward body positivity. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a shareholder. I love my curvy billionaire. And that's your signal boost.